past few weeks, I've been messing around with a lot of cigs. I've been trying to figure out what drip moves can really, you know what I'm saying, really take off, really go crazy in the near future, especially with new cigs that's going to come out in the next upcoming seasons. So as of me messing around with cigs on small builds and tall builds, I've been liking a few things, and today I'm going to end up showing you a variety of drip moves that you can use based on what type of play style that you are looking for. So as of somebody that mostly like to do standstill, but I also spin around and do things like that, I can do that with all these six. So if you wanna do a little combo standing here, and then you wanna do a spin back, and then you wanna do a behind the back, you can do these with every six that I'm about to show you today. So as of that, make sure y'all boys drop a like on this video, put on post notifications if you have yet, and sub up right now. But if some of you guys do not know, I am injured with my right hand, so all my dribble moves, they're not dribbling like how I really want to. I'm, I'm handsome, you know what I'm saying? I'm handsome combos here and there, but I know I can do better than what I'm doing right now. I know I can really tee up how I really want to. I just can't stress my hand out too much and I can't really have the mobility like I used to to do certain moves that I really want to, to end up moving at a certain angle or even flicking at a certain angle or it's gonna end up hurting. So look, today I'm gonna end up giving you some dribble moves for y'all tall builds and y'all short builds. So look, if you're someone that's gonna end up isoing, these are gonna be some great sigs. So before we even get into it, we might end up hopping in the 3v3 prom game, you know what I'm saying? Just to mess around, trying to get some clips real quick. End up showing y'all what these six can really do on this type of build. So these dribble moves I'm about to display to y'all right now on this build, this is for builds that can literally dribble with any dribble move that's under 6'5". And as long as you have a 92 ball control, but the team we're going against, you got a 6'7", a 6'8", and a 6'9". Most of the time, this is the normal lineup that you see. You must see a lineup just like that, or you must see a lineup that all 6'9s are all 6'8s. But look, I wonder how they might end up playing defense on me because I do not have a driving dunk. I only have a layup on this build, so I don't understand why they switch. I don't understand the switching because literally you on a 6'9", a 6'8", and a 6'7". Y'all should all be able to play defense on y'all builds. Like, it should be no way that you playing with a build that has no defense. Hold on. I'm out of drill. Watch the back door. Back door. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. I had to wait it out. I had to wait it out. I didn't want to get a turnover real quick. But they still didn't make any system because they end up switching on the inbound or the first play of the game. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm picking you up. I, oh, yeah. That's a steal. Let me get that. Let me. Get, all right, 2K. All right, 2K. I got Interceptor on silver, bro. I got Interceptor on silver. I got Pickpocket on glove, whatever on silver. Like, come on, bro. Oh, that's an easy pass to the corner. I really wanted the Icon pass him, but, bro, it takes too much time for me to Icon pass. I got to hold the controller, like, in a weird way for me to Icon pass, bro. You just don't understand. Oh, yeah. He really shot that at... Oh, no, 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 bro. Tweaking. He really... Tw let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me really... Oh, my God. Bruh. What the... Nah, 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 nah. That's what we not gonna do. That's what we not gonna do in the middle of recording. That's who we not gonna do, bro. Let me get this, bro. Let me see. Let me see how you playing defense. Let me hit him with a little one two. Let me hit him with a yes and hit him with a nice little one two. That's an easy green, bro. That's an easy green. Nice little green bean money team. You feel me? But I'm gonna tell you this now. Hey, when it comes to scoring, now you really don't got nothing really crazy. You just need to hit him with a few moves, get him out of place. Like, bro, are y'all the heat? Are y'all the place? And my teammates are really open. Like, I really can dot my teammates because they're helping a lot because this defense is not looking so good. But most of the time you play against lineups like this, they mostly just dunk the ball. I'm not going to lie to you. If they can't get a wide open shot, they're going to dunk the ball. Like, I told you, bro. They're going to put that ball in the rim. They're going to put it in the rim. They're not going to shoot it, but they're going to put the ball in the rim some type of way. But hold on. Let me let me see. Let me see what I got in my bag real quick. Let me see. They don't even know who to... Oh, yeah. He out of there. Oh, my God. Look at the pass. Hold on. Right back. That's the off ball. Look at the off ball, though. Who I'm pointing at. I just can't wait to get this other small guard build literally maxed out because I can dunk, shoot, dribble, and play defense. Like, actually play defense. Like, have high defense and still get the job done. But as of the six that I'm using right now, these are six that I've been messing with for a nice little minute. It is the Trey Young and John Wall combo. If you use Michael Jordan dribble style, this is one of the best dribble styles to use to end up speed boosting. So if you want an actual signature size up, I am using Trey Young as in the gameplay we're playing in right now. And as my actual escape, I'm using John Wall. And the reason why people use John Wall is to do the actual Trey Young misdirection behind the back, if you remember from 2K22. So if you want to, you know what I'm saying, mess with these six, hey, they not bad. But as of other signature size ups, a lot of people mess with the Steve Francis John Wall combination. As of the Steve Francis John Wall combination, there's another combination out there that can let you spam, and it's the Steve Francis Paul George. As of the Steve Francis Paul George, you can spam the Steve Francis crossover and the Paul George actual cross, and it'll give you like a fast spam, and you'll be able to get past defenders because they'd be super confused with what's going on, especially when you do it. And the highest ball control you really need for all these dribble 
moves is a 92, but everything else I say about an 85 ball control to get all those other dribble moves. But as with a small guard, this is what I've been usually rocking with the Trey Young. But if you want to use the, you know what I'm saying, Steve Francis, hey, the Steve Francis is not bad. It's a good alternate. You got the nice little curry slot they got out of the Steve Francis. But out of both of those actual signature styles, they are literally the best two signature styles to use on small guards that can unlock them. So if you're a small guard and you can unlock those two actual signature styles of and you got the ball control and you got the height, or like actual requirement, I prefer you to use those. But if you're someone that's going to be around that 6'5 all the way to 6'9, these are the dribble moves that I do recommend for you. As of the dribble style, Michael Jordan always. As long as you got a 75 speed with ball, you will be able to unlock Michael Jordan dribble style every single time. But as of the signature size up, T Max. But it's some other good ones to use as well. T Max is a cool one to use. And as a John Wall, you, you know that John Wall is the new Trey Young right now, and two new dribble moves come out in the next few actual seasons. But as of the behind the back, some people can get Damian Lillard behind the back if you 6'7 with a 90 ball control. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. If you want that Damian Lillard behind the back, you have to have at least a 90 ball control. So if you're on a 6'9, you cannot get it. If you're on a 6'8, you cannot get it. So if you're on a 6'8, I do recommend Zach Levine. If you're on a 6'9, I do re recommend Zach Levine. But if you're on anything like a 6'7, a 6'6, a 6'5, use Damon Lillard behind the back. But as of another signature size up to use is De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox signature size up is a great one. You can use John Wall as a signature size up escape, but it's a few things that you can end up mixing up. You can end up messing with a lot of them. Because if you want that, like Leon saying, that LeBron effect of the doing a hot back, I prefer you picking Damian Lillard as long as you got that 90 ball control. But if you don't got that, that 90 ball control, put on LeBron. But if you want another one that's also good, I would also say Paul George. Paul George, I just told you with the guards, you can do that little fast crossover. So if you want to do a De'Aaron Fox with Paul George, or you want to do a Trace, a Tracy McGrady with a Paul George, it's a nice little combo you can put together. So I'm going to end up showing you what it like when I end up dribbling on my 6'8". As of dribbling on the 6'8", I am rocking with the De'Aaron Fox and the actual John Wall combination. I do like using the John Wall, especially if you're someone that know how to do the misdirection behind the back. If you don't, try something else. But actually, I do like the John Wall. Unless you want to do the LeBron hot back, use Damian Lillard like I told you earlier. But look, as I'm playing with this build, bro, it's a beast. This is one, maybe one of my best builds after maybe like my 6'9". My 6'9 is crazy. I'm going to show y'all some gameplay once I get more badges on my 6'9". Hey, if y'all want a dribble tutorial very soon, hey, I'm going to try to get to you as soon as I can. Make sure y'all boys drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to maybe like 300 likes, 400 likes. And I'll give y'all boys a dribble tutorial trying to break down some simple moves to let y'all end up, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all some easy combos in here and there. But hey, on this 6-8, I'll be really sparking. I'll be really shooting the ball with my 6-8. Like, I like shooting on my 6-8. Like, as long as I got some space, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go as long as I got some. Oh my God, hold on. Look, 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 look. look, look. I'm going to take that in. I got to take that in, bro. But if I got some space, I'm going to make sure I shoot it because I like shooting the ball. I don't know what it is. Like, everybody like the rim run. I like to put the ball in there. I like to put the ball in there. Like, that's just, I don't know if it's just me, but I like to put the ball in there. But look, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see some more things like this in the near future, hey, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe. Put on post notifications if you haven't yet. It's going to be two videos on the screen. Hey, if you're trying to figure out how to dunk with NBA 2K23 and you want to get crazy contacts, you might want to watch this video right here. Or you want to end up finding the best jump shot, you might want to click on that video right there, bro.